Welcome. So much about the Christian life, we we think and believe and are told again and again in our churches depends on us. It's it's how we walk with Jesus. It's how we uh, live in our communities. How we behave in church. How we behave in work. And yet we see something very different in the scriptures. As always, you have me for the next five minutes, and I do hope these next few moments encourage you in your faith and in your walk with the Lord. Our text today is Genesis chapter 12, and the Lord says this to Abraham. Genesis 12, verses 1 to 3, he says, Get out of your country, from your family, to a land I will show you. Seriously? And this is, what the, this is what the scriptures do. As soon as we read them, they challenge us. The Lord gives no certainty to Abraham of what he is saying here. That like, I will show you, first of all, where I'm bringing you. I will show you the conclusion of where I'm bringing you. I will tell you all the steps on the way of where I want to bring you. But the Lord simply says, come away. Come outside from where you are, outside from your comfort zone. I want you to push out into the deep, you know. Hebrews 13, I want you to go outside the camp. Revelation 3.20, I'm outside the door and I'm knocking. Again and again we see this in scripture. The Lord calls us away from where we are to somewhere else. And there seems to be very few certainties and guarantees of what that might look like in the future. The guarantee usually is him and not really anything else. Let's go on. So to a land that I will show you. And here we have a subtle guarantee. I will make you a great nation. What might that look like, Lord? I will bless you. What might that look like, Lord? And make your name great. You shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. And all of the families of the earth shall be blessed because of you. So back up just for a moment. I will show you a land. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. Your name will be great. I will bless those who bless you. And that is true even today. And with the difficulty that we see in Jerusalem and Israel. And I will curse those who curse you. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Do you think maybe the Lord is trying to tell us something here? So here's Abraham, or Abraham as we know him better. He's in a, and he's in a land and he's being called away from a place. And he's called away to a place of trust in the unknown places. In the unknown circumstances, in the unknown situations. But he is called away to a God that says, I will. I will. Now he doesn't say, Abraham, I need you to do this, 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 and this. And this is how we see a Christian walk this day, isn't it? I, I, I must be, I must be kind to my wife or kind to my husband, better to my neighbor. I must not shout at the kids. I must not kick the dog. We think it's all about us. And the Spirit says to us today very clearly, I will. I will. I will show you. I will make you great. If you aren't going to be able to make yourself great, forget the Nike. Just do it. Don't do it. Let him do it in and through you by the power of his Spirit. And that's the message today. And we know from Galatians 3.16 that this blessing isn't just this generic thing to everything. That the blessing is in the seed, not seeds. The blessing is the, in the seed, which is Christ. Our blessings are yes and amen in Christ. As we walk side by side with him, and as his spirit fills us and empowers us, then it is the I will by God's standards. The I will by God's power, by the dynamos, that dynamite of power from heaven. So we're called to a place beyond ourselves. And the Lord says, will you trust me this day that I will? The Lord bless you this day. In Jesus' name.